The film we produced was using the render engine called Eevee. Eevee is actually a bit like a games engine. It tries to work out what things would look like and then shows you the result. There's another way of rendering called ray tracing and Blender allows you to do that as well. If I go to the camera tab over here or the render tab, I can change the render engine from Eevee into cycles. And you can see it's very, very pixelated and it slowly becomes clearer. What Cycles does is it actually tries to emulate each ray of light bouncing around the scene, a bit like light works in your own house or your own garden. So you get something which looks a little bit smoother, not that much different, but a little bit smoother. So if you're working for one of the big Hollywood firms, you'd probably be using one of these ray tracing engines a bit like Cycles. If it's going quite slowly, you might find that you've got a GPU in your computer, which is faster. So under device, you can click CPU and select GPU, and there you see it goes quite a bit faster when I'm rendering it. And just to show you that this might not be the best of ideas, if I go to render again and I go to render image, you'll see instead of showing an image in half a second, it's taking, well, it thinks nearly a minute to just render one shot. So if I've got a 67 or 63 frame film, it's going to take nearly an hour to make that film using cycles. It might look a little bit better, but it's going to, going to take a lot longer to get there.